When you have a line that is ran as long as LEGO Star Wars, you're bound to have some remakes along the line. With what sets haven't been remade that should be remade? Hey guys, it's Mercedes here, today counting down the top 5 LEGO Star Wars sets that should be remade. Now before we get into the list, just remember that this list is our opinion and that you will not necessarily agree, and feel free to leave your own list in the comment section below. Cloud City was originally released back in 2003, and that alone pretty much really states its need for a remake. The set actually is pretty good, the 2003 version, however if they remade it today it could be so much better with the new parts they have, especially the minifigures. The minifigures here you can really see how outdated they are, but if they were to remake it they'd be just far superior to these versions. However, this is only at number 5 because it seems extremely unlikely that this sub will be being remade anytime soon, mainly because of the recent release of the Carbon Freezing Chamber which was a major part of the actual set. So unless they're going to try to do little like modulars and release them sort of in a way like that, I don't see a Cloud City set being remade too soon, however I still think it deserves to be remade as soon as they can. The last version of the TIE Interceptor was released back the TIE Interceptor was released back in 2006 and this set can obviously advancements that LEGO has made in terms of these TIE models has just been really astounding compared to now in 2006. You can see the colors would obviously be changed, they wouldn't be really using that blue anymore, they'd have more of a gray, the shaping would be a lot different and there'd just be a lot of improvements that they can make. The closest thing LEGO has actually done to releasing a new version of the TIE Interceptor was a Micro Fighters model that was released, but you know obviously that's a Micro Fighters and that's not really going to do much. However, this set should be in line for a remake coming soon. The Jango Fett Slave 1 was originally released back in 2002, and they haven't made another version since. And that's kind of surprising, especially since at this point we have a Ultimate Collector Series version of the Boba Fett Slave 1. And with all these different versions of the Slave 1 that have been released, it's surprising that they haven't gone back and updated this Jango Fett Slave 1 model. Especially when you look at just the most recent versions of the Slave 1, you can really see all the improvements that can be made just in terms of shaping, color accuracy, and just accuracy of the ship in general. In addition, if they were to re-release this set, it would obviously have better minifigures because you know better printings, better moldings, all that good stuff. This set's just one of those sets that it's one that you would expect them to have remade it by now, but they haven't, and because of that I feel that it definitely does warrant a remake as soon as possible. The TIE Bomber was released in 2003, and it's very similar to the TIE Interceptor in the ways it can be improved. Obviously, if it would be made today, new pieces would allow just better shaping, the color accuracy would be a whole lot better, with most of that blue being completely gone in favor of the gray, it would just look a whole lot better. The main reason that this is further up on the list than the uh, TIE Interceptor though is because I feel this ship is a lot more interesting of design and it could be a lot better done in LEGO form just in terms of the whole bombing function and that whole bombing cabin in general. You can obviously tell it's just covered up with those two little flaps and you know if they were to do that today there could be a whole lot better methods and just a whole lot better things they could do to really get the accuracy going on this ship. The original Duel on Mustafar set was released in 2005, and it really barely resembles the Duel on Mustafar at all. The set's main gimmick was supposed to be a whole lightsaber battling set, which is, you know, why it's designed the way it is with the whole sort of axle sticking out for the minifigures to stand on. However, the set just, it's got pretty much no resemblance to the Duel on Mustafar besides the fact that it's a lava based and, you know, Anakin and Obi-Wan are fighting. And you can see this mock made by cm 4 Sai. it's a really good representation of, you know, if LEGO were to remake this set with today's parts on just how much better it could be. It's just one of those sets that they have only released one of, but it's just so inaccurate. And it's such a cool scene, you know, it'd be really nice to see him actually go back and remake a version similar to a cm 4 Sai's mock that would really capture the Duan Musafar a whole lot better. That was our list for the top 5 LEGO Star Wars sets that should be remade. If you enjoyed this video, 
go ahead and let me know how I did in the comment section below or by leaving a like. In addition, feel free to of course leave your own lists in the comment section. And ways to improve these types of videos are of course appreciated since this is only my third top 5 or top 10 video. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.